technical staff on that. Thank you, Brian. Ball put in by KUN1. Controlled back. Oh, not controlled by Blondell nicely, but Daw still fighting. Ball put back, nicely done by KU. KU appearing to win them all. It's a very difficult angle. No movement of the ball. KU out. Oh, ball going wildly. Dawkins picking it up, taking it along the side, trying to find touch, hit by the Kansas City Blues, and finally out for touch. Ball awarded to Kansas City Blues. Questionable call by the linesman again. Oh, overruled by the referee, finally. This touch judge is questionable. KU will be putting the ball in on the two-man line. Thrown to Hills, over his head. Oh, oh, dangerous tackle by the Kansas City Blues. He called not straight. Oh, ball not thrown straight is what he called. I believe the referee might be a latent homosexual. He has had questionable charges against him. I formerly knew the man in St. Louis, but I am not guilty of any of these charges. Oh, White put in. KU okay, nice and low. Backs coming up for the defense. They must be behind the last man's foot. Ball won by Kansas City Blues. Well done by Sean Daw. Taking down the number eight strongly. And the mall taken by KU. Very nice. KU trying to trying to control ball. Right now the hooker of the blues has it, but they are wrenching his head a bit. That ought to make him cough it up. One by KU. Out to Dawkins. Oh, kicked wide across and over the, the backs. Not controlled well by Kansas City Blues. To the advantage of KU. Again, mistakes again. Oh, D Joe Duffy taken down well by Archie Byers. Quint Newford to Huggins. Oh, thrown just forward. Very, very close. But a nice play by KU taking it out of a dangerous situation. Very good play by the KU Jayhawks. Our crowd is well behind them. The day getting a little cooler, so we don't have quite the crowd we would like. Usually 10 to 15,000 appearing, but today we have maybe 50 to 100 people. Oh, one by Kansas City nicely to the standoff. Kicked over for up and over. Oh, controlled by Martin Gray nicely. Upfield, not much of a counterattack. Needing support. Oh, thrown badly to the number 12 of the Kansas City Blues. But put down and not controlled. Eddie, I believe, is his name. Kansas City winning them all nicely, setting nicely, going weak to the fullback, and up and under, Narayan underneath it. Oh, a mistake between Narayan and Bob Hills. And taken out for touch, awarded to KU for the put in, eight meters inside the 22 meter line. having to be tight again. They're in a very dangerous situation. Ball thrown in by Sheldon. Controlled nicely by Bob Hills. Out to Steve Dawkins. Looking for room for touch. Kicked out nicely, gaining at least five meters in touch. Wind picking up here if you can hear it. If you can, I can always make noises to let you know. Trying to get the ball controlled to the hooker for the put-in. Generally, you'll find that the hooker will be the man who will put the ball in on the line out. Some teams do have a gentleman who might be a little better of a thrower, but... Hooker to the first jumper. Oh. Ball not thrown in straight. Choice 2KU. Then they do choose a line out. Two-man line out call. It's been quite effective for KU up to date. Oh, nicely done, nicely done, but, oh. Ball was thrown back by the first jumper to the hooker, who was trying to find a wing forward, but not quite done. Oh, Kansas City called for offsides. Bob Hill taking it up, nicely, out to Don Huggins. No, still controlled, back to Newford. Quint done nicely, Archie Byers taking the ball. Knocked forward. Forward pass called by the referee, awarded to the Kansas City Blues. White ball. KU nicely.
Nice and low again. Driving. Oh, one by the KU Jayhawks. They get us to the head again the third time this match. Oh, nice by Matthew Blondell to Don Higgins. Well mauled by Archie Byers. KU driving. Ball trying to find its way back to the scrum half, Sean Daw. Oh, ball out. Controlled by the hooker. Oh, Matthew Blondell taking him down. Nicely done by Sean Daw. Taking it upfield. Well done. Looking fine, trying to find his man. KU Mall again. Oh, picked up off the ground by the Kansas City Blues, but not called. Ball out to the Blues, to the wing. Running into his own men. Questionable shepherding and kicking into the box. Wings well back. Oh, controlled nicely by KU. Looking for a counterattack between the wing and the fullback. Taking it up. Out to the fullback. Oh, what happened? Oh, Dawkins out. And out. Oh, thrown forward. No? What do we have here? Ball thrown forward by KU, I believe. But nicely done on a counterattack. The winger might have wanted to force a little more pressure on before giving it to his fullback. Great fun, great fun. Oh, okay. Kansas City Blues. Not on the put-in, it'll be KU put in. KU winning the hook. Control back, good push by the Kansas City Blues. KU standing still, controlled by Daw. Oh, nice tackle by the scrum half. Kansas City picking the ball up and driving forward over the ball. Difficult to see the ball from this angle. Oh, KU control. And we have a, a latent fan of the Kansas City Blues giving comments about our play. Oh, I know. I'm being clean, I'm being clean. Ball awarded to the Kansas City Blues for the line out. They've been very effective with the first jumper, again to their first jumper. Out to the scrum half, standoff. Oh, nice tight defense, but a little slow by the Kansas City Blues. Don Huggins in on the ball. KU trying to ball, maul on the ball. Driving forward, Huggins trying to slip back. Ball not up, oh, ball onto the ground now. Controlled nicely by KU. Out to Dawkins, out to Pete, to Martin. He's got, he's got some running room. There he goes, he's breaking. 15, nice kick through into the box. Following the play, he's got good pressure. Kansas City kicking the ball nicely back. Oh, Sean Daw in position with Don Huggins running up the field. Kansas City players must not play him. They are offside position. Ball taken up nicely by KU. Ball being formed. Oh, out to Sean Daw. Dawkins, Steve Dawkins, questionable kick right there. He did have a lot of men to work with. And whistle blown for half. So we will be back at the half. And we'll have a little pause in the action. Okay. Wait. Right beginning again. Welcome to the second half. Referee asking both sides if they are ready for play. Bob Hill's indicating he is. And Martin Gray on the kick. Pete Knutson holding. Kick at least 15 meters. Controlled nicely by Tommy Doyle. Kicking directly back. Questionable between Steve Dawkins and the winger there. KU mauling nicely. Referee already blowing the ball. Hands into the maul. Into the ruck, I guess. Awarded to KU, the Kansas City Blues must retreat 10 yards. Matthew Blondell stepping back, going to kick for touch. Finding touch nicely. About 10 meters outside the 22 meter line. Will be Kansas City's put in. Water boy done nicely by Charlie Manson. Ball coming back to the line out. Watch again to see if Kansas City goes to their first jumper. Number two, it'll be the second man in the line out. They've been quite successful to date. And again, they go to him, but ball fighting through. Archie Breyer's bringing it down nicely. KU, oh, taking Tommy Doyle out of the play nicely. Cheap shotting, kicking. Oh, out. To Dawkins, 
get it out to fry to Knutson a little low and knocked on. Play continues. And the knock on called. I believe he was awarding the second knock on. The first one not played. Dawkins has got to be quicker on that ball. He's got to put it out much sooner. You understand that the standoff runs out with it long enough that gives the Kansas City opportunity to come up against the, the play. You want to work out to the wing as quickly as you can. Oh, nice defense by the KU team against the number eight trying to break. Ball whistled. A few words between Archie Byers and the wing forward of the Kansas City Blues. Oh, Bob Hill's taking it nicely off the break. He's got Huggins with him. Out to Huggins. Oh, he's got Knutson. To Knutson. He's taking it in. Yes, it'll be a try. Knutson trying it, putting it down. Four points awarded to the K KU team. Done. Points awarded to the KU team. Done nicely off of the penalty. Beautiful play by the KU Jayhawks. Pete Knutson on that. Don Huggins doing beautifully cutting back in and then finding his winger outside. Don Huggins is down though. I believe he took quite a hit on that. People surrounding him bringing up everlasting fountain of peace water. Again, picking up in KU's favor this half. It's actually changing directions a little bit from northeast to due north. Get a little break in the action here. We might ask our cameraman to go on pause. If oh, we're going to go for the post here. Matthew Blondell spotting the ball. As you can see, there's a paper rolling across there. That's probably Bill Mills' game plan. The referee's got no hands, so he can't pick it up. Huggins is up in the well, smiling with Bob Hills, Matthew Blondell sitting for post. Oh, a questionable call by the referee. Losing two-point chance there. Matthew Blondell was called for approaching the ball. Kansas City coming through and kicking it. A drop kick must be done. A drop kick must be done by the Kansas City Blues. Ah, he had put it down. Almost a mistake by the Kansas City Blues there. Would have been a scrum to the center. Nice drop kick. Done nicely. Yes. Yes, the favor is of the Kansas City, or the KU team, 4-3. Out to Dawkins, not controlled well. Play continues, and the knock on by Dawkins. It'll be a Kansas City put in. You always find that the, can the scrum half will be putting it in if you consider the away from the right foot of his hooker. Oh, gone weak. Good defense by Huggins. Back out to the scrum half, trying to kick through. Picked up nicely by Quinn. Breaking through the line. Fed to Archie Byers. Good drive by the KU Jayhawks. Ball getting put back. Done. Oh, offsides by Kansas City, but they awarded to him anyway. A bad play by, by the referee there. Kansas City attacking and ball finally finding touch. Oh, and the touch judge awarding it to the Kansas City team, a questionable touch judge. 
Somebody ought to stop feeding him drugs. Kansas City almost at the 22 meter line, just about two yards outside. They go to their third jumper, tipped nicely to the scrum half, to the standoff, breaking through, finding a lot of open running room. To his first center, to the wing, to the wing, and a try scored by the Kansas City Blues, done nicely. The standoff forced a, great, a good overload there, breaking through. KU up a little too tight on that, but leaving an open gap for that standoff. Done nicely by Kansas City. The score now being 7-4, to four, Kansas City. Ball touched down on the far side of the post will be a very difficult angle for the man to convert. We have Randy Renfro, uh, former uh, knock-on star of the first match below us. Randy, do you have any comments? No, no comments by Randy Renfro. Conversing with Louis Reeder as to why he dropped so many balls in the first half. Women and beer. That's the primary discussion. Randy would like a picture of he and Louie. Some two happy fans after the first match. Cheers. And the ball falling wide on the conversion. We missed it there because we had to get our two hams on, but KU or Kansas City did not convert that. Louis was one of the stars in the movie Quest for Spot. Oh yes, we would like to do that. I've just been told by my cameraman that I should remind you that Louis Reeder was an Academy Award nomination for his role in Quest for Fire. He especially enjoyed the grunting scenes. And makeup was not necessary. The ball not really dropped properly. That ball was kicked directly. See, uh, called by the referee, well done. Awarded to Kansas City a choice of either a scrum down or a free kick again. Kansas City selecting the scrum down. Ball will be at midfield. Kansas City on the put in one nicely by Kansas City. Control to the scrum half. Going weak. And the standoff kicking through. Martin Gray with a nice control. Taking it upfield. There he goes. Out to David Fry. Oh. David Fry putting it down, picked up nicely by Bob Hills. Out to the wing. Oh, he should have, he turned to present, but no support. Finally, Kate, Bob Hills getting the ball. Newfer coming in, nicely. Ball out, offside, terribly by the standoff of the Kansas City team. Oh, he feeds it to the number eight. Kicked into the box nicely. Picked up by Pete Knutson and a nice kick for touch and I could almost catch that ball. Lovely kick by Pete Knutson. KU needing to control that ball. And we do have a man down on the pitch for Kansas City. The fountain of youth brought out again. He looking like he needs it a little bit. Lord help us if we all look that way. Hobbling along. He appears to want to remain in the match. And ball coming back where it will be a line out to the Kansas City Blues. Kansas City being very effective in line out play. Oh, the first jumper and the man throwing the ball in who's normally a flanker. Discussing, coming back. People surrounding the play here. Ball going to the second jumper, tipped nicely by, but unfortunately by Kansas City to the, or by KU to the scrum half. I believe the ball was called, uh, oh, not thrown in straight. KU's choice to a uh, line out, going to a two-man line out. Archie Byers must get back, there he goes. Here we go, getting set up. Ball thrown to the first jumper, tipped back. Oh, oh, brilliant defense by the Kansas City team. KU trying a very nice play, but well defensed by Kansas City. The ball tipped back to the hooker. The hooker then flips it to the prop, running, bearing down, but the prop was taken nicely by Kansas City. Kansas City throwing again on the line out. They'll probably go to their first jumper. And they, oh, they do. Oh, Bob Hill's coming through the line, taken nicely by Sheldon. Too many Len in the, men in the blue line out. Kansas City must have pulled a flanker before that. Awarded to Kansas City, out to their number six. Oh, ball not thrown nicely.
picked up by the by the fullback and kicked out for touch by Kansas City. Ball will go to KU Jayhawks. We have Bill Boyle coming up over here, chewing a little bit. We'd like a comment from you, Bill. What do you think of the match so far? It's great. It's loving it, loving it. You know, they're having a Tom Selleck look-alike contest in Kansas City, Bill, if you're interested. That's right. Ball out to KU. Dawkins kicking, trying to find touch. Kicked, but not finding. Ah, now called by the infamous Senator Winner. How do I fare in that contest? Well, I don't know. They haven't had it yet. If you'd like to enter, they uh, talk to Q104, I believe. Oh, we're, now we're looking for a Bill Boyle look-alike contest. Unfortunately, there are not too many people who would want to look like Bill Boyle. Thrown in, taken by Kansas City, and broken right through the line, bearing down at least 10 meters. Oh, taken out nicely, going weak with the scrum half. Poor kick by the scrum half. Unfortunate. That was a foolish mistake. And when that happens, what happens is the KU is going to get control of the ball now. They're down inside the 22-meter line. Control is very important. KU going to a two-man line out, being very effective with it. You want to tell the people that it's so important that this game is mostly possession. You do not want to give the ball away. That's why you do not want to kick unless you want to kick from the defensive position. As KU would do right now, to put the ball, you'll notice the touch judge flag is blowing briskly. Yes, we have a nice northerly breeze. A nice technical comment by, by our Bill Boyle, first center for the first team of the KU Jayhawks. Nice of him to join us up here in this cold booth. Get a different perspective of the game up here. Very good perspective, I quite agree. Ball not thrown in straight by Kansas City. I believe a choice to the KU Jayhawks. And it will be a scrum down to KU Jayhawks as Sean Daw takes the ball. Sean Daw directing his troops. Steve Dawkins need to, needs to realize that he's got some other men on the, on the field. Referee warning people of foot being placed into the tunnel much too soon by both sides. KU again on the put in. Oh, won nicely by KU. But a good wheel by the Kansas City team. And the ball coming out behind. The effectiveness of the wheel right there. The wheel has been very effective for Kansas City in this point of the game. Oh, Kansas City winning ball. Oh. Nice tackle by, I believe that was David Fry at flanker. Going to their standoff, Kansas City. Good. Good play, there's David Fry, looking for support, coming in nicely. Steve Dawkins in on the bind there, trying to take men of the offside position. There it is, oh, taken nicely by Sheldon, going weak to Don Huggins. Kick through and finding touch right on the line. Hit the line! Oh, a poor call by the touch judges, that was right in front of us, that ball hit the line. The touch judge is a latent homosexual, there's no doubt about it, a very poor call. This touch judge has been poor. And the man that was injured a little earlier has gone down again. I don't know if it's exhaustion or injury. But can't, Kansas City would be smart to replace this man. As we, as we resume play, we had a bit of a relaxing time there. A bit of an argument with Gator, who can't see either, along with the touch judge, as to where that ball was kicked. Referee blowing the whistle. 